the Museum of Latin American Art. They have an amazing art exhibition right now featuring the work of Judy Baca. She's an artist that uses her gift to promote change. And I met with Gabriela Utiaga to get more insight into the social significance of this exhibit. Take a listen. Thank you, Shaki, for having me. I am Gabriela Urtiaga, the chief curator at the Museum of Latin American Art in Long Beach, California. I just moved from Buenos Aires, Argentina to Long Beach two years ago in September. I will, will celebrate two years in, in the U.S. And I am so happy because uh, MOLA, the Museum of Latin American Art, is a pioneer of museum to put uh, and uh, put in the focus in Latin American and Latino artists in the U.S. And you know, this is really important for our community and for our artists too. Now, how did you get this job? You've only been in the States for two years. How did you come to um, become the curator here? Yes, you know, this is a, a big challenge and it's an amazing opportunity, not only for me, like a Latina and Argentinian girl, a curator, is because I really know the importance to talk and to share knowledge about Latinos and Latin American artists in the U.S. around the world. And this is a big opportunity, so amazing. And we are working a lot with all the more Latin to do this play an amazing place, a community place too. Some of it looks more modern, some of it looks older. What goes into the process of getting the art into the museum? Well, you know, for example, now uh, we are uh, in, a, in the process of the, our new master plan of acquisition to put in balance diverse our collection regarding gender, you know, uh, women artists, men artists, Latinx, African Latinx artists. And the, the idea is that the artwork is a uh, contained uh, a lot of information, a layer of information, not only an aesthetic experience, but also they contain uh, a lot of stories of life. Mm -hmm. And this is really important for our museum, for our audience, to share and, and build a lot of knowledge about art, but also about the story. Now, I see definitely a lot of, I see Gandhi, I see, um, there's even, like you said, the, the African Latina, Latino community that's represented. I think a lot of our listeners on this show specifically, we talk a lot about, you know, social change and pushing that needle. And you've talked about knowledge and educating people on art. How can art help push the social change, push that needle? You know, uh, the artists are the avant-garde of our time. And they are thinking all the time about a creative process, but also they are immersed in our context. And it's for that we really know the power of art. You can see, for example, one piece, but it's not about only your knowledge because you can connect directly with a lot of layer of information in a painting and in a sculpture. And the most important thing is when you are in connection with art, with the artist, you can feel that. You know, and I think this is the power of art, and this is one of the most important mission of a museum mm -hmm. to talk about, to be involved in the context that we are living, and at the same time to thinking about the past, the present, but also the future. Now, don't forget, you can and should see that exhibition anytime between now and January. The Museum of Latin American Art is open Wednesday through Sunday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you can find out more if you visit MOLAA.org.